The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Captain Bob Smith, Director of Testing. Welcome to Botest.com. I'm Captain Rob Smith, aboard a main ship. Today you're going to witness the evolution of the main ship 40 trawler to the main ship 40 expedition. So join me as we take a look at some of the design features and their benefits for you. With a few changes to the popular 40 trawler, Mainship built a model that adds an extra measure of comfort in the main salon for after voyage relaxation. Let's start with a look at these changes that Mainship has made to evolve the 40 trawler to the 40 expedition. We'll start our walkthrough here in the salon as that's where many of the changes occurred. We have a single level salon. Now the galley is in the port forward section of it so it opens up seating so you can enjoy your guest. Moving on back, we have two movable loungers that are also standard and the TV has gone up to a 26 inch flat screen TV. By moving the galley to the forward port side, we open up the entire starboard side for the settee. The value of that is that you are able to get a lot more people behind the table and it will also double as another berth when you have guests on board overnight. This new arrangement really opened up the entire interior and really makes sense to me. This lounger and the tables both are portable so you can move them around to your liking. The lounger couch quickly converts to a double bed. There were also some changes in the lower steering station. For one, we have a double wide helm seat, and I really like the fact that the helm back flips up or down so that when people are at the settee, they're able to see if you have the helm seat down or you have it up for when you're steering. We turn around to the station, the rich woods continue that main ship is well known for. There's a standard bow thruster, but an optional stern thruster on this. This is also powered with Yanmar, so we have the Yanmar electronic controls. You definitely feel in control with your hands on the wooden ship's wheel, and you have all the conveniences. Under the generous seat is an additional storage space, including a bottle rack on one side. The 40 Expedition can be powered with a single engine or twins. In this case, we have a 380 horsepower Yanmar that's electronically controlled. We have a large center panel access in the floor, but the other panels can be brought up for full access if you need to do extensive service. The extended cruising couple will find the accommodations rather comfortable. We have about 73 inches of height overhead in the cabin, but you only have about 69 and a half by 16 and a half here in the doorway. We have twin accommodations to port, and we have a shared head to starboard. The master stateroom has inner spring mattress, cherry wood lockers, and cedar lined hanging locker. The guest cabin to port can be used as an additional hanging storage, an office or sewing room. There's one head for both cabins. I really appreciated the separated shower and the fact that the shower was lower than the sole in the head, adding to the overhead room. At first glance, you might think there's limited storage space on board, but they really have taken advantage of every possible nook and cranny. Under the settee, under the island bed, and even underneath the power panel here in the corner where they have the sound system and subwoofer, as well as the ice maker. When it's time to go forward, whether you enter from the helm or from the back, you have a single level almost all the way to the front. Oversized railing for safety. Got about a nine inch step up right here. Now you're up where you can handle the lines, handle the anchoring, or just enjoy the view. Wide walkways mean you can quickly get up front and you have all the room you need to handle the anchoring task as well as room to enjoy the view when you're at anchor. The 40 Expedition cockpit gives you plenty of room to set up a couple of deck chairs to enjoy the day. Good coverage with extended overhead, large dunnage box, and one of the things that main ship's known for is having true stairs going up to the upper control station along with a nice handrail for safety and security. The standard swim platform offers a sturdy step on board as well as a place to launch your water toys or tow your tender. They have a large swim door that gets you inside the cockpit, as well as flip down steps on the side for when you're in a long side mooring. The upper control station for the 40 Expedition is probably one of the largest in its class. When you look at the space available, you could easily have a party up here, and then during the day, you have plenty of room to work around and enjoy your trip. Now, if you'll join me up here at the helm, we'll take a look at the primary control station on the 40 Expedition. The upper control station is designed to be the primary control station. In this case, we have all of our switches at a fingertips reach from underneath the wheel. We have our trim tabs to the left of the wheel. Thrusters to the far left. Here's our radio. We have twin 5208s for information underway. We have our Yanmar instrumentation. 
as well as a Yanmar electronic throttle and shift. Top side, we have room for a couple of options. In this case, we have a small table and room for a couple of chairs, as well as what they call a summer galley. Lift the lid, we have an electric grill, stainless steel sink, and then down below, we have an ice maker. The overall length of this expedition is 41 feet 4 inches and her beam is 14 feet 2 inches. She displaces 24,000 pounds and has a fuel capacity of 300 gallons. She carries 130 gallons of fresh water and sleeps 6. Draft measures 3 feet 8 inches. This model is rated for single engines up to 440 horsepower Yanmar 6LY3 STP or they also offer twin Yanmar 6BY260s. I tested the 40 Expedition in Biscayne Bay outside Miami, Florida with three on board. Handling was smooth and the Yanmar engine operated flawlessly. Visibility around the control station was good and turns were smooth without excessive healing. I found this model reached a top speed of 19.2 miles per hour at 3368 RPMs. She appears to have a best cruise speed of 18.3 miles per hour at 3250 RPMs with a range of 290 miles on her 300 gallon tank. The standard equipment is virtually identical to that on the 40 trawler and we recommend you install the optional 9KW generator with sound shield and the internal sea strainers. With the 40 Expedition, Main Chef has maintained that trawler functionality that you need for a long trip, yet has improved the livability on board. If you're ready for that cruise of your life, be sure and take a look at Main Chef's 40 Expedition.